When I was thinking of doing this piece, The Red Shoes, I realised that the music for the film, which actually won an Oscar, is only really relating to The Red Shoes Ballet, which is a short part of the whole story. And I needed more variety of music, you know, to be able to tell the, the complete story. So I looked at scores around the period in which this story was set, because I love Bernard Herrmann's music. And I thought, what about if I look at earlier music by Bernard Herrmann? I found a wealth of amazing music, really, beautifully romantic, bittersweet, dramatic, great storytelling music. So Terry Davis and I, we got together to try and come up with a score based on several pieces of Herman music and film scores of that period. And actually that's the most enjoyable bit for me, is that, that time working with Matt early on and we're, when we're really creatively constructing a score in words. So a selection is made and demos are made for rehearsal. But of course things change in rehearsal, so it's a very iterative process, things are developed. We had to whittle it down eventually, so that it had themes that ran through it. So we found kind of a love theme that comes from a film called The Ghost of Mrs Muir. That relates to the Julian and Vicky relationship. We found a wealth of dance music, believe it or not, in the film Citizen Kane, which no one would expect. The danger in basing a show on different scores from different sources is that you don't end up with a coherent whole that is our red shoes. And so you get lots of ideas, you get a kind of mixtape of things. And that's why I chose to reduce the sonic variety of the scores. So it's pianos and strings, really. And there's a harp in there and a bit of percussion. So that's the sound of our red shoes and sort of forcing everything through that filter makes everything cohere and becomes itself. We have a, an incredibly good group of musicians that play for us on our projects and we're often a small group of players, which means we can get a real level of detail and um, commitment into the musical performances. And a lot of my role is being the link between them and the stage to come together to provide the music to support the drama and the choreography. We use our musicians here, of course, to, to do the recordings. And uh, the result is that you know, we we do them with a great deal of care and uh, yeah, I'm proud of those recordings actually, they're good. I am one of the two piano players in the Red Shoes Orchestra. There's a grand piano and there's an upright piano and I get to play the grand piano and my friend Jill plays the upright. So during the show, whenever the composer Julian Craster sits down at a grand piano, it's me who's doing the playing and if he sits and plays an upright piano, it'll be Jill. When I'm playing Julian's piano music, is I'm sort of imagining how he might be feeling at that particular moment based on what I know of the story and what Brett the conductor is showing me. So I am trying to inhabit the character of Julian musically uh, even though I don't exactly know what's going on on stage I'm sort of having to imagine it. There are, there are some heart-stoppingly beautiful moments both choreographically, visually and uh, I think dramatically you get more and more pulled into identifying with the characters and being taken on hopefully a very engaging journey with lots of twists and turns. It's joyous really. It has a fantastic sweep emotionally and I think you just got to go with it. You'll have a good ride.